At that moment, Yaya, so anadotteva ikenai. Jijit suatash to stemo hijoni kyomi bukai hanashidatta to kanjite. What is this man doing here? Kimiga Claudia. Bay no itta shojo nano dane. Karu crafto. Damn it. A word, exactly. I jumped up and hastily turned around. Oh gosh, God help us. There I saw a mercurial silhouette. Anatawa. Stroll my ass. F that, I'm going home. <laughs> I turned around. What? What do you mean, please wait? But then she grabbed my sleeve with more power than I thought possible, leaving me somewhat surprised. Like where? Uh, what the? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Despite being stupidly peeish, she could get pretty damn forceful. Though I really didn't want to walk around a damn second longer. Her very nature was why she was useful to me. Still, can't say I knew crap. Oh, uh, wait, what? All about how to handle the situation. The sun was effing me up real good. Right when the thought ran through my mind. あなた的には耐えられないほど辛いですか？どうしても無理だと言うなら、私も諦めますけれど、やはりあなたの健康が第一ですものね。What the hell? What about you? Huh? That word? What? That sounded like he was saying I was weaker than her. I'm a picture of hell. Hearing that from this suicidal idiot set me up. Oh god. Yo, she played you just now, bro. She played you so hard. And that's how it went down. Honestly, I couldn't help but feel she'd set me up somehow. Yeah, you you you've just been set up, bro. What? You're right about that. There's definitely no sunlight. And Claudia had led me to a church. It was a very nun like choice, but I found it anticlimactic considering I was prepared for the worst kind of hell. Nope. Alright, so my next question is why are we here? I don't, I don't remember. I probably ignored it because I just didn't give a crap. This made Claudia somewhat sulky. Charlemagne? What? I didn't. I didn't know this was a. Uh... I didn't know this is Charlemagne the God. It was in this. What is in this game? Though I bluntly cut her off, her City. Claudia had assumed the people here would be better than elsewhere, and that led her to being cheated out of all that money. Then again, it could have just been her stupidity. She overvalued other people so much you could call her a walking manifestation of that sentiment. Hey, hey, <laughs> I wonder where everybody is. 
Claudia curiously looked around the cathedral. Again, besides us, there was no one here. This <laughs> man, every other word is a curse word out of this man's mouth. How very nun like of you. My sarcasm wasn't working on her, so I ended up feeling defeated and just gave up. <laughs> I figured it was best to just let her do her thing and sat on a random pew and waited for it to end. Claudia kneeled before the cross and gave a silent prayer. Not even 10 seconds into it, however, she broke her silence. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what a worthless question! It was like she didn't even know who she was talking to! Oh god, she's asking his reasoning now. Okay, so what's your counter argument then? The fact that she took a gentle, soothing tone really pissed me off. I always hated it when people look down on me. <笑>いえ。ただ神とはそういうものですよ。聖書の中でもかなりの人々を死なせています。つまりこんなことになっているのが神の作り保った世界なのです。ただ<笑><笑><笑><笑> A sadistic trash bag and a demented psycho. I knew full well I couldn't really point fingers about that, but it was clear that there was some serious detachment between what he did and how his believers saw him. Basically, they were all insane. <laughs> Oh man! Yo, she's bringing up the gay lover! Oh man, she's going deep now! Uh, oh, uh oh, I was about to snap and jump out of the pew, but then I realized I was mostly mad at myself for not being able to fight back with words. Claudia tried to cool me down by apologizing, and then she slowly shook her head. A sanctuary, Valhalla, heaven, bliss, happiness. It was where all our souls desired to go, even if the differences in values made the shapes of our goals vastly different. According to her, the concept was always the same. あなたがラインハルトハイドリス様を敬するように私も私の神を敬い歩むのです。ですから。Thus, she then momentarily fell silent. Even though I couldn't see her face, I could tell she was smiling. 
Uh... In the end, she was basically just preaching. I didn't need anyone to tell me to believe in Lord Hadrich, and I was damn sure no one else could even begin to match me on that front. もう<笑><笑> I don't think you should be talking about okay in the head at that moment. What is this man doing here? Karu Krafto. A word, exactly. I jumped up and hastily turned around. Oh gosh, God help us. There I saw a mercurial silhouette. Claudia too turned around and looked at him in surprise. I could relate to her completely. Even I wasn't used to this guy. What in the world? I couldn't see him properly. His being just didn't make any sense. It was like his outline was made of quicksilver. I could tell he was right before me, but n not a moment later. His form grew to be impossible to perceive. It was as if he was far too great for the vulgar masses to comprehend. He was very much the dying monster looking down on an ant. The vice commander of the obsidian table, Karu Krafto Mercurius. <laughs> What do you want, dude? Oh gosh, here we go with his dictionary words. Basically, we were being called for another gathering. His sudden entry surprised me, but there wasn't anything special about that. Sure, it wasn't that common, but he was a walking enigma. It was standard for him to just appear out of nowhere, saying some annoying crap, and F off. <clears throat> As if understanding what I was thinking, he chuckled, or at least I felt he did, and nodded. So, <sighs> at least he's toned down the dictionary words. <clears throat> but he's already used like two or three of them. I found his words ominous. I couldn't explain the feeling or even liken it to anything, but it was enough for me to almost reflexively jump to cover Claudia. Are you saying Hadrich wants this? <sighs> Was he telling the truth? I took a moment to think, but I couldn't find an answer. Still, if it had come to this, I knew I couldn't refuse. <clears throat> Yo, he's re literally reading him like a book, dude. What a creepazoid. And so, with a bizarre swaying shadow trailing behind him, Mercurius took his leave. I was left rooted to my spot, grinding my teeth in frustration. Besides the thing about Claudia, I was pissed off about something else. Nani? That was my arcane title given to me by none other than Mercurius. Oh, I didn't know he gave you that name. I actually liked it. 
It was basically the name of the Lord of Vampires, and it suited me better than any other. Even so, I couldn't stomach hearing him call me that. It made me feel in pressable refusal and disgust. I mean, in ex wait, in whatever. Uh, I couldn't help but recall what he told me during the christening. The world spun around in my head, making a huge effing mess. <laughs> If you say so, dude. What is it, Claudia? My grumbling probably didn't make any sense to her, but I didn't want her to get it either. It was a type of curse I could neither accept nor stomach. If you guys haven't seen my other videos of Interview with Kazuku Bay, make sure you click the playlist below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.